Alright man, so Marco's got a 10 kilometer egg hatch, so let's just see what that egg is. Come on, Lavatar. Alright, Lavatar, Labra, Snorlax. Oh! Oh! I Congrats, knew it! Man. I do. Oh, wow. 500. TV. Oh, nice. I'm keeping that. So, what's its uh, phrase? phrase? It's a wonder. Attack. See, see my calculation. Keep it. <laughs> yeah. He's got the lava talk. I do it. Sorry about the blur net splash. He's got the lava talk. There you go. That's my best CP, actually. Yeah, 500 is the best CP. Are at this beautiful place in San Jose, we have a magmar right here at this module stop. This guy is 604 CP, and we're gonna catch this boy. And uh, caught him. All right, caught him with a great ball, and he's going to be okay. Don't leave, man. Okay. All right, come on. One, two, three. Caught him. Caught him with a great ball. One hitter or quitter. All right, folks. So I'm gonna be in Comic Con for a while, meeting these freelancers and other celebrities. So catch you guys later, and welcome to SCCC. Either of those. Just hang out? Just hang out? Why not? Why not? It's no pending question. I'm a huge, and this is, I don't know why it's in my head right now. Probably because I wrote trip yesterday and listened to a lot of his music, and I'm going to his concert in June, but I'm, I've been a big Jason Mraz fan, always have. <laughs>
TV awesome to, you know, do anything with, to hang out with, pretend like I could play music with him, which I can. How about getting into season four? <laughs> Got it. Just get Jason around. What would he do? He could be the musical one. Everyone, everyone needs like a guy in the background telling them this. You could use Jason Wright to want to show just a guy in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason, play something quickly. Play some music for us. Yeah. Whatever, well, it's a trial balloon, okay? Give me some time, I'll pick it up. Dan? Hey, Marcus. What is it like making the transition from for Tom from Jack O'Malley to Julian and for Grant, like from Sebastian to Barry? Like, what's it like doing that transition to like two different characters? Yeah, I mean, it is, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. One minute. One minute you're in Hogwarts, the next minute you're in the Cortex. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, you know, you a gap there. There was a sort of like, what? Yeah, there was a gap. Was, uh, yeah, so because it is like there is a gap and there is a, a, a chance to get to sort of uh, get to grips with them. It's not so much a transformation as it more of is like a was an evolution or uh, you know as the as the scenes as the characters develop throughout the season. Certainly in my case, I've got a chance to. To really sort of stick my teeth into, into him, but um, the transformation for you must be slightly more. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's like, it's like all these characters. It's like I guess you'd be surprised how much of yourself is really like at the heart of like pretty much any character you're gonna play. I mean, I guess it's it's kind of obvious, but it's I don't. It's funny. I don't feel that different playing like Sebastian versus playing Mary because it like comes from like a, a different truthful part of my place. Like I have a sassy kind of not so friendly part of myself that I can draw from, you know, and I have a, a, you know, that very side of me too, I'd like to think that I can draw from. So I don't know, it's like, yeah, it's like pieces of me versus trying to become someone else, I guess. I can t I can certainly say for both of us, it's a lot of fun. We have a I had a lot of fun doing it, so yeah. Very lucky boys. <laughs>up folks and we are back from the comic-con convention and i gotta say it was a great experience and today we are at the alameda park which is like um 6 15 minutes away from the convention center so this guy from the convention center was talking about um going to like parks where pokemon go players actually go and for this uh video we're gonna be like looking for spawn points here and for some reason we have spinner racks and some omnite spawns here so it looks like there's a nest full of omnites and spinner racks so we got omnite for 4 17 cp and then we're gonna get this guy with the pokeball and we hope we can catch this guy right now and we caught it with the Pokeball. All right, cool. Praise, it's pretty decent. Quality is attack, defense, stats are strong. Okay, so we got the Ammonite. Let's head to that lake right there. We got a juiced Krabby right here and his CP is 969 CP are you so crazy oh my gosh guys that is a very very strong Krabby right there let's go catch this guy with a pokeball savage season it and he is not caught okay so let's go with pineapps and we'll go with ah dang it okay go with the the fingers okay good we got it with the great ball and caught the crabby see what his ivs are 
so it's not really that great, but CP is big. Almanite number two. So let's get this Almanite right now. And his CP is 134. Not good, but we can catch him. So that's Almanite number two. So it looks like we have a cluster spawn of Almanites. So let's check his IVs really strong HP stats okay well no I'm gonna like transfer right now all right guys so we're gonna go catch this Chikorita right here and we'll see what the CP is for Chikorita so Chikorita's CP is 382 CP so we're gonna catch this guy and let's use a great ball and we'll see if we can catch this guy right now so yeah oh we caught the Chikorita right now and let's see what the IVs are pretty decent attack sets are really strong all right, so I would say star it just in case something strong happens. And yeah, guys, on to our next big adventure with Omni. All right, so we're gonna get this Omni is the next plan. And right now his CP is 553 CP. So let's go get this guy. And with a Pokeball, okay. Okay, yes, I caught it. And we'll go see what his IVs are. Best defense, okay, stats. It's really good IVs, okay, good. We'll keep this guy.